Hey, I'm John from ARTV, and you're watching Rocked. So I'm here with John from ARTV. Um, John, you're not in a band right now. You're uh, not currently. My last band broke up in 2012. Okay, so you're not performing today. No, unfortunately I'm not. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so what are you doing at Sonic Temple? Well, I am in media, as okay. you can see. Yes. I'm here talking to you. I've been doing interviews with various outlets, just kind of getting the word out about ARTV, seeing some shows, seeing some bands, you know, uh, just making the rounds. Okay. You know, it's a festival. So we've been hearing reports that a tall person has been causing too much of a ruckus in circle pits. Yes. And um, I'm asking you bluntly, has that been you? I'm going to tell you right now, you know, when I take the sunglasses off, you know that I'm telling the truth. That has 100% been me. It you're has admitting been. that you're yes. trampling on people's ankles and yes. hurting people. And why? Why Don't you have any etiquette for that? Well, here's the thing, Luke. When you're tall, it kind of just you just kind of get that attitude about you where it just doesn't matter. You know, you're you're in a totally different plane when it comes to weather, height, and ego, and that's just the way that it goes. So, the taller the person, the bigger the monster. Um, that's what uh, I've gathered from being here at the Monster Energy stage all weekend long. Oh my gosh, that that there's so much I want to unpack on that. But anyway, so you've been hurting a few people. Let's just be clear. Well, let's not say hurt. Let's say I've uh, been participating in some uh, activities that could cause injury to some. All right, I'm, I'm going to leave that. There's also been some unfortunate reports on the Facebook page for Sonic Temple um, and some screenshots of a, a man in a red and black hoodie saying, I don't know how to put this politely, that you've been stealing people's food, eating it in front of them, and throwing back the trash in their face. Listen, Luke, I'm going to put the sunglasses back on, and that's how you know I'm being serious. That was 110% me. Why? Why would you do that? I only did it to one person, to be fair. There have been copycats, and I think I may have started a trend here. But I did it to one man, and it was Crash Thompson, the rock critic. I stole his nacho fries, and I don't think he'll ever forgive me. He's nodding his head. Um, Crash Thompson has been an innocent bystander at in all this, and you're accusing him of deserving to have trash thrown in his face. He was asking for it, Luke. Uh, um, okay, we're going to have some opinion on this, Crash. Bullshit. Bullshit. No. Hmm. Um, well, I think Crash might be in the right here, to be quite honest. So I was a little bit intoxicated when this occurred. Excuse me, coming through. Uh, <laughs> Don't trip on the way out, buddy. So... Okay, I'll I'll keep this going. Um, what have you enjoyed at Sonic Temple? I, uh, you know, a little bit of everything, Luke. Uh, you already brought up the circle pits and the stealing of food, so those are my top two. Um, I would have to say a solid third was uh, the rain out for the uh, set earlier for uh, one of the sets over on the Echo stage and the Wave stage. I um, really like the buildup of waiting for something and then it not happening. So you're happy that Refuse didn't get to play? Um, I think I'm happier because I knew other people wanted to see them, and they didn't get that pleasure. And in a sick way, that gives me some sort of pleasure as well. So. Oh, okay. So you're you're going to be happy if this delay keeps going because right now we're at a standstill no, for the Distillers. No, see, here's the thing. I, there, there's a line between wanting something like that and just being a monster, and that I am not. Unless I am drinking Monster Energy... I am open to a sponsorship. What are you going to, like, how would you sponsor it? Like, what would the brand be representing? Well, here's the thing. I already wear a ton of their gear. Uh, okay. Uh, lots of Monster Energy gear. Uh, I've got some on right now. I do not care to share because it is a personal item. Uh, but it is Monster Energy themed. Okay. And I do think that they would be in their best interest to actually give a sponsorship to me and within the next six months, probably. Is this um, personal appeal, is this monster like they actually sold it, or is this something you made? This is something that I've made, Luke, uh, from a collection of stickers that I've received over the years. And that's all I care to share. And I don't appreciate you probing. All right. Um, I'll continue on. So, uh, finally, um, since 
Sonic Temple is continuing on. Hopefully, the rain will end. Are you ex who are you excited for remaining for the night to see? Um, you know, I, I'm really just here uh, for the uh, for the little acoustic stage, uh, not the Zippo one, the one that uh, my friend Dave has out in the parking lot. Uh, there's a band there called Teenage Home Wreckers that I'm really excited to catch. Uh, if you guys uh, are ever in town when they're rolling through. The man that was arrested for selling drugs out of the trunk of his car? No, 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 car. they were not. Well, okay, they cannot prove that. It was, it was the, you know, the bags that you toss to play cornhole? Yes. They, they, thought, said that those the were they the thought that the powder in the bags was cocaine. It cannot be proven. They proved that with the drug kit in the car. That man is on his way to jail. That was an allegation. Anyway, so Sonic Temple's here, and I, the wind I, is really picking yeah, up. I just got hit in the head with a water bottle. The wind is really picking the up in the media tent The wind is really here. picking up right now. This so. is crazy. I'm going to take my sunglasses off so you know I'm serious. It's really getting windy. Okay, so I'll just wrap this up. I'm asking everyone for a uh, compilation question I've been sure. doing all month. Sure, of course. Um, of course. ARTV is doing very well with two channels, over 100,000 subscribers. That's correct. You can check out the channel right here on YouTube. Um, if you, have you had a crazy fan story, like a fan came up to you and did something either funny, memorable, horrifying, weird? Um, let's see. I do have one. Um, okay, this was in 2017. Okay. Um, it started out, so I'm at Lowe's Home Improvement, right? Okay. Like the one that's right outside of the festival grounds yes, here. Very there's similar one local. to that. Yeah. Very similar layout. I was shopping because my toilet pretty much exploded and I needed to get some screws and a few uh, new toilet seats to replace that. Okay. So, while shopping for that, I ran in to a fan, middle-aged woman, very nice, but also you could tell that she was really just kind of probing questions for her teenage daughter who wanted to meet me desperately. And she asked so many times for my address. And you know what, I finally caved and gave her my parents' address. See, here's the thing. I gave her a date and a location to meet over there. She did not come then. Instead, she decided to show up unannounced at 3 a.m. on Mother's Day. On Mother's Day. My poor mother's soul, her poor heart, could not handle it. She's the nicest person in the world. She didn't know what was going on. She thought it was her Postmates delivery, and it was not. It was not. And you know what, Luke? The worst part was she started taking photos in my childhood room, posting them on Instagram with the hashtag, I love John from ARTV. In my parents' room, uh, and while they were asleep, Luke, yes, mind you, that there is was a ladder involved. A ladder involved. It's a three-story home. I admit that is a crazy fan story. Yes, but the, the good news is is that I was able to uh, get over there the next morning on Mother's Day, and we all celebrated together. It actually turned out quite nice. We went to the KFC buffet, and uh, we had a great time. It was a really great meal. I highly recommend them. Uh, KFC, definitely one of my sponsors. So okay. uh, eating good in the neighborhood. KFC. I don't know if that's KFC's slogan it's or not. It's their new one, and they're rolling it out slowly in okay. certain states like Kentucky. Okay, well, if you... There's a lot going on for you right now. Sonic Temple's not over. Yes. I think some people wish it was now at this point. Yes. But if you had any message to all your fans out there, what would it be? This one's for all my fans and all my haters. 